got Iniesta, Xavi and Deco. Plenty of interchange in there. The secret to them is their movement. They're all wonderfully gifted footballers and they'll support the front three of Ronaldinho, Eto'o on the left and Messi on the right. Our team has sort of successfully defended the Champions League. Strike and roll. We fully expected Ronaldinho to play down the middle, but at the moment, it's Ronaldinho on the left-hand side. Ball around Puyo. I think the keeper, actually, Valdez, was unsighted. Success at the Bernabeu. There's Ronaldinho. Messi can't get there. Well, that's a shot to the system for Frank Reichard's team. They'd set the pace, they were doing all of the... Nice interchange between Etu and Messi. Oh, here's a great chance for Messi. It's 1-1. One, one. That was more like the old Barcelona. Some superb passing, but was Messi in an offside position when he received that ball? Absolutely no doubts about the finish, it was quite clinical from Messi. Beautiful left foot, took it so well. What a great response that was from Barcelona. Just on. Absolutely right, the linesman got it right. Moments ago, Eto, I thought he was offside. But there's no doubt about this one, Messi receives it with his left foot. Great composure, just strokes the ball past Casillas for the equaliser. Great response from Barcelona. Well, we predicted plenty of goals in this game. It's got off to an absolutely cracking start. <laughs> Two goals in the opening 11 minutes. So he saw that incident, he turned his back on it. What was quite evident was that Marquez was trying one thing and one thing only, and that was to try and get Guti booked. Diara gets in the way, it falls nicely for Messi. And he continues, Lionel Messi, that's a great ball through. Here's Eto! And Casillas to the rescue. I'll tell you what, uh... And maybe it, uh, Ronaldinho is having his boots adjusted. He can't come on the field to take this free kick. So Messi does so, and it's a very poor one. Now Ronaldinho's in from the wings. In this uh, wonderful arena. Now Lionel Messi. Drop of the shoulder, blocked by Sergio Ramos. Referee left. Real Madrid uh, turn 105. Apprehensive about making any. Ball again. Messi. Oh, through the legs of Gago. And away he goes again. Great run. Deco chooses Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho chooses Eto. Eto twists and turns, but didn't have the power. They're going to have to dig deep here. Ronaldinho leads the charge. Eto, Ronaldinho, stopped by Casillas, blasted in by Messi! It's Van Nistelrooy to Messi to. All three front players, Ronaldinho, Eto, and Messi, are involved in this passage of play. But once again, it's the young Argentinian who scores the all important equaliser. Lionel Messi, just 19 years of age. Tonight he's becoming a man. Casillas is unlucky because he makes a good save from Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho gets lucky, the ball comes back to him from Eto, he thinks he's scored, it comes back out. And Messi, still a lot of work to do, but he absolutely thrashes the ball with his left foot. Gets himself right. And thumps the ball into the roof of the net. And that's a very subdued reaction from Frank Rijkaard. Well, Messi was out for a long time, remember. He uh, 
missed 21 games, returned against Liverpool. And I think he's back to his best, don't you? Oh, Barcelona beginning to really play brilliant football. Messi's got a chance for a hat-trick. Oh! Chances are he's going to get it, but not on that occasion. And every time he seems to collect the ball in that position, you're thinking, is he offside? Well, I think on this occasion he is offside. Casillas does ever so well here because I think that Messi wants to put it into the far side. And he shows him that near post. He tries to squeeze it in. He can't quite get it inside that near post. Chavi to Messi. He's having a ball. Yes, and the young guy who's playing against him. Chavi to Messi. I think it would be said, Rob. The only time managers come in for criticism is when you're not winning for... Messi. Ronaldinho's onside. He's got Eto at the far post. Oh! How on earth did that not go in? Well, Sagado at the back post, he's done himself an injury, but I think he made the all-important clearance to deny Samuel Eto. Once again, suspicion of offside. Ronaldinho made the run in behind, well picked out by Messi. Have to find a replacement. They have a youngster called Marcello. Or Marcelo, should I say, the young Brazilian who's on the bench. That was handball by Deco. Sorry, Me Messi handball. He gets away, escapes a, a yellow card. He shouldn't escape a yellow card, or should he? Because it was quite deliberate. He might get to very low odds on Ruud van Nistelrooy getting his hat-trick goal. Diara knocks down Messi and, of course, 98,000 fans want a yellow card for that. The one doesn't come. Well, it's just a little shove, isn't it? I think every foul now committed by a white-shirted player. You get the supporters on their backs looking for referee to set to the ball. Deco tries to escape, and every Barcelona player... He's not good enough defensively to cope with it. As simple as that. Some of the uh, good thing he's had. Messi, who's been the star of the show. Touch from Iniesta. Lionel Messi. Ronaldinho. 98,000 people disagreeing with you, Trevor. Deco. Now Messi, all left foot, cuts in from the wing, we know where he's going, but it's impossible to stop him at times. It's uh, something I never thought I'd hear myself say, but maybe Barcelona would settle for a draw here. The uh, referee has another tough call to make. Uh, Diara goes down under a, a very strong challenge from Messi. And the referee for now keeping his cards dry. Here is Messi. Oh, hacking away at him. And that was a fat Pele's old club, Santos. But he can win a game, he can take on a defender, and he has that little burst of pace that Raul doesn't have these days. Silvino. Messi. Ronaldinho. Kez. Oh, great turn by Messi. Ronaldinho, what's going through the great man's mind. He bumps into Diara, the referee tells the players to continue. Ronaldinho has a second stab, he's in the direction of Ronaldinho. Messi. Enough. Belletti, the Brazilian right back, seems to be stripping for action. Oh, the referee gets in the way. Yeah. The underside of the crossbar, and certainly Valdez, he was given absolutely no chance. I'll tell you what, put that headband on uh, the internet tonight, it would miss thousands, wouldn't it? The headband that scored what could be the winning goal at the new Camp for Real Madrid. The Barcelona have to come out of their defensive shell. They've only scored 32 goals, which is not a good return for a team like Real Madrid. They score three tonight.
And the game's not all over yet. Don't be surprised if there's one or two more to come because still the problems are there for Barcelona. They may be down to 10 men. This side undoubtedly is going forward. They're so dependent on the front three. It's it long. No get up. Xavi. Lionel Messi. Still on the chance of a hat trick. Ronaldinho takes on all covers. Gives it Lionel Messi. Messi continues. He's in the area. They have to be careful. And the referee gives a throw. If he'd gone to the jury, that would have been a penalty. Well, Torres takes a chance here, doesn't he? He just had to get that right. Spot on with a tackle, spot on with the decision. Gago flies it. Referee allows Barcelona to keep the play flowing. Messi has a little lash. The cut. Minimum, of course, of four minutes to bet added on by the officials. Plenty of time for an equaliser for Barcelona. That's what Lionel Messi has in mind. Messi takes everybody on. Messi has got it! This is the game that is going to be remembered as the Lionel Messi match. 19 years of age, he gets a hat trick. Not only is it a hat trick, he scores for 10 man Barcelona in extra time. You can't write a script like this. That wonderful left foot of Messi has struck again. Absolutely brilliant shot from Messi across Casillas into the far corner. He gets a hand to it, but the power of the shot takes it past Casillas. Real Madrid have only got themselves to blame. They've sat back. They've had numerous opportunities to put this game beyond Barcelona. Ronaldinho plays the ball into Messi. It's a wild challenge from Algueira. He should never be diving in there. He provides the opportunity for Messi in the space. And he takes advantage of it with a brilliant shot across Casillas. Algueira should stay on his feet. He goes to ground far too easy. But the shot from Messi is quite superb. Well, they've all played in this game. Figo, Zidane, Romario, Ronaldo. Johan Cruyff, Diego Maradona. Now there is a new name in the history books. Lionel Messi. They compared him to Diego Maradona, as they do many Argentinians when they come over here. But he is living up to that billing. Do you know what, Trevor? When he actually signed for Barcelona, he was four foot six. He had a hormone deficiency. He tried everything to make him grow. And he's standing about 12 foot tall at the moment. They took on Real Madrid and Lionel Messi goes down in the annals of greatness. Follows Ivan Zamorano, the last player to get a hat-trick in 1995, before him Romario. And a man called Gary Lineker once got a hat-trick in this game. But Lionel Messi, against all odds, has drawn the game, but it feels like a victory to these home supporters. Remember the name, Lionel Messi. You're going to hear an awful lot of it over the next ten years. He has been the star of the show in a gripping El Derby that finished 3-3.